All right, I'm going to continue with the intro. I've switched machines, and maybe the audio will be a little bit better. So in the previous video, we had something that looked like this. We asked, is age greater than 10, and is the nationality equal to French? And if I run that, it helps if you restart and run all. So we just switched machines. And it says false. And that is because this is not true. Age is not greater than 10. And the rule for and is that both pieces must be true for and to be considered, the and expression to be considered true. And we could ask then if the age is greater than 10 or is the nationality equal to French? And the answer would be true. Okay. Now what we want to do is I'd like to turn this into a function. Define a function called old enough to work and French. Now I want to be clear. We're, this, this is, this is not I'm, this, this, this is not conforming to child labor laws, uh, and I'm not trying to say anything about the French. Um, I'm putting this in the context of our census data that we are looking at from 1913, and uh, I'm wanting to help you think about how we turn this notebook that we're exploring into a function. All right, define a function called old enough to work and French. Right, it should consume two parameters, a, oops, age and nationality, and return true if the child laborer, that sounds awful, is older than 10 years old, and if they are French in origin. All right. Everything is wrong about this. Um, this long as we're clear about that. And we'll see how we can fix it. So if that's the function I need to define, I'm going to start with def. Um, and actually, I can't call it old enough to work in French. So let's call it old enough. And it's going to take two parameters, age and nationality. And when we... and I'm going to introduce you to this idea again. When I write pass, that's where you put your code. See, that's just so I can define the function and move on from it. But when you work with it, you might, you might want to be able to put your code there. Um, and at this point, I'm going to say, all right, I have two variables, age and nationality. Let's, let's write uh, a contract. Let's say age is a number. Nationality is a string. Okay. So I can say if age is greater than 10 and, and if the nationality is French, we're going to return true because it says we should return true if the child laborer is older than 10 years old and if they are French in origin. Otherwise, we're running out of screen here. Hmm. We're really running out of screen. Let's adjust things. Otherwise, return false going to run that cell and nothing happens but that's because I need to try it does it work try calling the function all right so we could say old enough are they old enough if they're 10 and they're French no are they old enough if they are 11 and they're French yes are they old enough if they're 11 and German no are they old enough if they are, hmm. Uh, 
9 in German. No. All right. So I have defined a function so I can use it multiple times, and I did that by taking what I had written in my notebook and basically gave it a name. I said it has, still has two variables, and then I'm going to write the same if expression. And we could possibly wrap the whole thing in parentheses just to be neat and tidy. All right. That doesn't change the way it works. That was a rapid conversion to an if statement. But I'm going to go ahead and do another notebook in another video and walk through that process one step at a time.